Welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe unboxing video. I'm Jim, and I have a candy cane milkshake here, which I've just prepared for myself as a little bonus for coming here after closing to do some unboxing of all these great games that we're about to show you. Just to uh, mention here, this is in a nice to-go container. We do take out for our milkshakes and most of our food, almost actually pretty much all of our food is available takeout now. So. Uh, yeah, come on down to the cafe. Uh, even if you're not going to come and play some games, you can take our amazing baked goods and sandwiches, salads, milkshakes, and other awesome warm drinks home as well. Uh, hot drinks. Yeah, so this is absolutely delicious. I'm going to have a little sip of this and then we'll get right at the unboxing. Mmm, awesome. I mentioned candy cane is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So restock, patches, cauldron of everything. Um, we sold right out of our initial allotment and here's three more of the um, regular hardcover version of the book. We also have more of the alternate cover coming. Um, so if you're interested in those or these, you can, or anything else, you can email us um, info at meeples.ca to have us put it aside for you. Or um, you know, if it's something in stock, you can just purchase it online at meeples.ca or come down to the store and get it. Here we are. Next up, we have a special order of the new box version of the Castles of Burgundy. Been waiting for this for a little while, so happy to have this in for the person that special ordered it. Now this, wow, I did not expect the box to be that dark. The Batman Who Laughs Rising. So you may have seen um, Thanos Rising. And what you probably have not seen is Star Wars Rising because that was only licensed in Europe, unfortunately, and we have not been able to get it. We've tried. But here is the Batman Who Laughs Rising. Look at this amazing, wow. Seriously? That's crazy. If that's actually in the box, it does. It says, includes full color custom sculpted figure shown at actual size. Holy cow. That's amazing. What's the player count on this? Come on, guys. Where does it say? Seriously? I think it literally does not say on the box how many. Oh, geez, it's, it's, okay. There it is, right there, all covered by this fold in the shrink wrap so nobody could possibly read it. One to four player game for ages 15 and up. Ooh, 15 and up. It says it takes 60 minutes. A portal to a dark multiverse has been opened in Gotham City, providing a link to the most dangerous villains imaginable, the Dark Knights. Led by Batman Who Laughs, a demonic hybrid of the Joker and Batman, these supervillains are seeking a way into our universe in order to destroy it. Join forces with Batman, Green Lantern, Lantern Hawk Girl, and Wonder Woman to recruit powerful DC characters forming an alliance against evil. In this cooperative game, players must work together to defeat the Dark Knights and the Batman who laughs before everything is lost to darkness. Well, the cards have some great DC art on them. I do like the components, not only this big mini, but also these custom dice look very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I think this looks even better than Thanos Rising to be quite, quite honest and very excited about that. I do wish we could get Star Wars Rising, um, but these, these games are all somewhat similar based on the same series. So, very excited to see that come in. Then we have a restock of Unstable Unicorns. We were running low on that. I wanted to make sure we had enough for you for the holidays. There we go. Also, a small restock of Bananagrams. Very popular uh, Scrabble-like speed, speed Scrabble game. It has a bunch of basically Scrabble tiles in the banana, and you're trying to make words as fast as you can, taking from a common pool of letters in the middle of the table. If I remember how this works, quite enjoy it. Ooh, Curious Cargo. This is a uh, special order by a couple people at least. This is the two player small version of Pipeline, which is a great game by Capstone Games. This is also by Capstone Games. Looks very neat. Um, we've been looking forward to this all year and uh, I hope I will get to try this soon because uh, one of the copies is going to somebody I know. 
I hope I get to try it. Next up, New York Zoo. We sold out of our first shipment of that immediately and very happy to have this back in. Um, this is the UE Rosenberg uh, game with um, beautiful, beautiful components and you can see the art on it is very nice as well. Very excited to have that back. And then we have restocks of both of the expansions for Tiny Towns. Uh, very good game and uh, made even better with these uh, expansions that have additional cards and uh, buildings and stuff like that. Very nice. And the next thing, just a second, I'm going to take a sip. Don't want it to melt. This is a retailer backer kit for Frosthaven. The follow-up game to Gloomhaven came in the mail today. Very excited to see what is in here. I believe this will be materials to help us promote that we have Frosthaven available for pre-order. By the way, we have Frosthaven available for pre-order. You should email us. Okay. Ooh. So this says pre-order here and you get a free Frosthaven challenge coin. So that's nice. Now, this has 17 playable classes, 50 plus monster groups, 100 plus scenarios, 200 plus item cards, 30 double-sided map tiles, new city building, crafting and alchemy systems, seasonal event decks, 100 overlay tiles, 100 plus overlay tiles, 20 plus sealed and unlockable envelopes and more. And it's gonna come in a big box like Gloomhaven. And very excited about this. So we're gonna have this on our counter to promote Frosthaven. And then it looks like they've got some posters. Ooh, that's nice. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion poster. We'll, we'll put that up if we can find some space. Most of our walls are full, but who could resist? And then, uh, is this, what's this? We have, ooh. They really want us to promote their stuff and I really want to promote their stuff because their stuff is awesome. Uh, I keep telling people I think Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion is probably the best value in our entire store uh, for what you get for only $49.99 is just incredible. Frosthaven is going to be a bit more but it will be incredible as well uh, and a much much bigger box justifying the price so there you go very cool poster for Frosthaven thank you Isaac Childress for sending this to us right that's right I have also placed a pre-order for Gloomhaven Fallen Lion this is a comic book in the Gloomhaven universe and I only have a few copies because we're not a comic book store so I wasn't sure how many to get I just got a few copies if you want a copy of Gloomhaven Fallen Lion let me know and we will Put it aside for you and uh, you can email us info at meeples.ca so we'll have that it says here available December 30th of this year we'll see I hope so and then uh, there's a nice letter here it does say here your you will your store will receive a free Frosthaven challenge coin for each unit of Frosthaven ordered so you will get the challenge coin the enclosed tabletop sign is intentionally dual sided to suit your needs. There we go. It says fulfillment is going to commence July 1st. That is their current goal. And it says February 1st, they lock down orders and head into mass production. Um, of course, right now, everything is subject to change, uh, just the way life is these days, but hopefully we will have that next summer to enjoy. Mm. That's so good. Okay, so here are the other two copies of Tasha. I appreciate that they do a nice job of packaging these so they're in nice condition. So, neat thing about this order is like most of it, honestly, is special orders. So, here's some special orders uh, X Wing stuff Nimbus class, V Wing. Two of them. There we go. V 
BTL A4 Y-Wing. These are nice. These are, as you can see, pre-painted, very high quality. We have uh, Darth Maul and Sith Probe droids for Star Wars Legion. Take a look at those cool droids and Darth Maul in this one. And then of course, Anakin Skywalker Commander Expansion with very nice miniatures in here. And then we have Devil Reef, um, special order for the people who have um, standing orders on, on uh, Arkham Horror, the card game. Um, if you want to uh, have a standing order on LCGs, you can, just email us. And um, so we have a few of these. Let's see how many. Ooh, I didn't know this was coming too. Another uh, scenario pack. Um, War of the Outer Gods. Very cool to see that in. This is a deluxe, uh, well not deluxe expansion, but a larger than normal. It's not a mythos pack, it's a scenario pack. So that's, that's exciting to see that in as well. We got a few of those. And we have, this is um, uh, for someone who has a standing order on Lord of the Rings. Don't normally carry it, but the Lord of the Rings card game is still being made. And here is the Fortress of Nern, the latest uh, chapter pack. Sorry, adventure pack. Hmm. There we go. And here we have a T65 X Wing special order. Oh boy. I can see why he was so excited about this, being told this was coming in. AAT Trade Federation Battle Tank. Check out that one. Holy moly. That is big. Very cool. For Legion, we have more copies of Curious Cargo. I think we have one or two that are actually going to be available. The rest are all already pre-ordered by people. So here we go. There it is. Oh my. Another X-Wing pre-order. This is the Ghost Expansion Pack. That is probably the biggest X-Wing thing we've brought in so far. Pretty neat. Pretty huge, actually. Wow, look at the detailed turret on top. Really nice and really nice work on this. They do an amazing job painting these, really do. Quite impressive. Have a uh, restock of Here to Slay, a fun game by um, T-Turtle. Uh, actually, is it by T-Turtle? Yeah, it's by the people who make Unstable Unicorns. That's T-Turtle, right? So there you go. Take a look at Unstable Unicorns, unstableunicorns.com slash here to slay. Then we have one copy of Fuji. I, I think I think I actually ordered this for for us because I just saw Wolfgang Warsh and it's like insta buy. Anything that Wolfgang Warsh makes, I am ordering. So I think this is for us, but if you're interested in a copy, I can probably get more. This is a, a cooperative dice game. Players simultaneously and secretly roll their dice behind their screens. Together you must find the best way to the village for each player. I like the art in this game. This looks very neat. And then this is another special order. We have Dungeons and Dragons Clue. That is very neat. And uh, actually it looks way more interesting than I thought it was going to. Um, Trouble in Baldur's Gate. Who has been slain by the minions of Zeriel? What was the murder weapon? Where has the infernal puzzle box been hidden? Very neat. Special edition of Clue. Wow, what the heck. Okay, Lucky Duck Games, Kingdom Rush Rift in Time. This is a special order. The other one is available. It says some very nice things about it on the back. And looking at the back, I can't believe them. First of all, Rado, you probably know from Rado Runs Through on YouTube, says this game is amazing. And Man vs. Meeple says this is the best tower defense game they've ever played. Wow. All I can say is this is huge. <laughs> it's uh, fairly heavy for the size of the box as well. It's a fully cooperative campaign driven tower defense puzzle game of epic proportions. Take a look at videos on this. I'm sure you'll find videos on Man vs. Meeple and Rada Runs Through It. Lucky Duck have had uh, very good luck with their games. 
very good game, so I'm sure this is great. And the person who's waiting for this will be very excited to finally have it in. Shake. Okay. okay, first of all, Hive Pocket. Uh, Hive has been sold up for a long time, but I was able to get Hive Pocket, which frankly, I think is actually a better version of the game because it doesn't need to be bigger than this, frankly. It also comes with a nice bag. Well, actually, Big Hive comes with a bag too, but this makes more sense being a small game. It also comes with the Ladybug and Mosquito expansions, which are definitely worth having. Uh, Hive is a very, very fun two-player abstract strategy game. And your, your goal in the game is to completely surround your... So if you're the black, uh, black player, you're trying to completely surround the queen bee of the white player. Each of the different types of um, insects have different movement rules. And uh, it's a very, very easy game to learn. And uh, I don't know, it takes what? 10, 15 minutes or so to play. And just a great, great fun game. And we've had Hive a few times, but it's been a while. And uh, so I'm really happy to have this in uh, right now. Hive Pocket. And we have a restock. Well, it's not really a restock. We actually have floor plans still in stock, but these were special ordered for someone, all three copies to the same person. And then we have another copy of Pictures, which I believe completes our restock. We were waiting for this last one. If there's any more. There might be one more in, the, in this uh, shipment. Pictures was the game of the year for 2020, uh, which we personally love here. It's really fun. We've played it, and we've also taught it to lots of people at the cafe who have then wanted to take it home with them. So we're glad we're gonna be able to have more people take it home with them. And then, oh yeah, there's the other copy of pictures. So there we go, two, like I said. And then another copy of Mariposas, the awesome game by Elizabeth Hargrave, follow up to her hit game Wingspan. In this game, you are having butterflies, monarch butterflies, in fact, travel north from Mexico up North America and you're collecting different things and then you have to get them back and if you can get lots of your butterflies back to Mexico by the end of the game you'll get lots of points that's what you want to do in this game it's a lot of fun I really enjoyed my first play and like I said last time I really look forward to playing this with five people I really want to see how the game plays at five then we have another special order this is the hero pack for Adventure Time Card Wars and then we have another Lucky Duck game. This is Baron Voodoo. And this is a really neat dice game. You can see the back. There's a bunch of dice. If I remember correctly, it's a dice a game where you don't even roll the dice. There's, the dice are, are more mechanical than they are about uh, luck. But um, it's been a long time since I pre-ordered this, so I could be wrong. But I love the art and I love the components in this game. And frankly, the name name is cool too. It's a two to four player game for ages 10 and up. It takes 45 minutes. It has 48 dice. It's new, so you never know. Uh, but uh, I was intrigued enough by the components and by the premise to, to bring it in. So we've got a couple copies. Neither of them are pre-ordered. So they're both available to take home. Railways of the World, 10th anniversary edition. Um, this is a fantastic game. I've played this game quite a few times. A friend of mine in town has this game and I think every expansion for it and um, plays it quite regularly. My wife is a big fan of this game. I, I, I wouldn't call myself a fan. I, I definitely don't dislike it. I like it, but it's not like, oh, I can't wait to play that for me. Uh, but anytime it's on offer, I will happily play it and enjoy my experience playing it. It's a two to six player game and you are trying to uh, build tracks between these spaces and able to be able to pick up and deliver cubes of different colors. I'm not doing a great job of explaining the game, but you can see it's a big heavy box because it's a lot, there's a lot of game in here. It's really, really fun. It says 120 minutes plus. I really do think you can play this game in like two hours-ish, honestly, two and a half at the most. I don't think I've ever had a game go longer than that. Um, not, maybe not since the first time anyway. We've played it so many times since. We know the game now pretty well. This is a great game. We've never had it in. And this is the new 10th anniversary edition. So we wanted to bring it in. Okay, first 
first up. This is a special order of Evolution, which is a really fun game by North Star Games. Um, we don't have it in the library, I don't believe. I think we may have Evolution Climate in the library. Yeah, that's it, but we don't have Evolution. Um, Evolution Climate, I believe, is in this order, probably in that box right there. We'll open it in a minute. Very fun game where you are evolving different creatures. Some of them will be herbivores, some will be carnivores, uh, and they're trying to survive. You're trying to, they need to get bigger so that they can protect themselves and you need more of them so they can protect themselves, but then they might get attacked. Very, very neat game. And uh, it spawned a couple uh, new versions that we'll see in this uh, video. So one of these is special ordered and the other one is available for sale. Finally, Wingspan European Expansion. Actually, we have one or two of these special ordered and, uh, and the rest uh, are available. They've got a whole bunch in this shipment. And uh, we do have a bunch of copies of Wingspan left as well. So if you're looking for that, plus we have the Oceania Expansion coming. I believe the release date is December 18th. We have a ton of copies uh, coming and uh, you can reserve yours. We have already a ton pre-ordered as well, are reserved. So you can uh, you can also reserve your copy, info at meeples.ca, just let us know. And then here's that other copy of uh, Evolution I was telling you about. That's where they stash them. Here we are. Let's start with this. Here we have the special edition uh, Gibson's limited edition um, puzzle. This is, like I said, limited edition includes a unique numbered certificate. This is by Gibson's. They do one of these every year, apparently. And this one is called This Way to Santa. I know Gibson's really makes a big deal about the quality of uh, the board that they use and the cutting, even the packaging. Uh, and reducing waste in their packaging. They make a big deal of these things, which is why I like them as a company for their puzzles. And then they do these really neat uh, Christmas puzzles as well. So we brought in four of these. Um, one of them's already sold, and then the rest are available. When I mentioned we have Evolution Climate in our library, and here is a copy that you can take home. This is not special ordered, but I thought since we were bringing in Evolution, why not bring in the other ones as well? This is a standalone game, it's not an expansion. Yeah, this adds climate to evolution, which is normally just about the monsters, or monsters, uh, animals. But in here you can also uh, have the um, climate get affected during the game, which can, affect, which can affect the growth and longevity of different animals. Creatures that can't um, tolerate cold will not do well if it all of a sudden gets cold and vice versa. So that's a very neat addition to uh, Evolution. So if you're looking for something a little bit beefier than Evolution, this, this could be it. And then here is Oceans Limited Edition. I have not played Oceans, but this is based on the Evolution system, I believe. And it says it's a strategy game where you create a vibrant web of marine life in a continually changing environment. But this is just on the surface. There's more when you're ready to dive deeper. So it says, two to four player game for ages 12 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. Uh, and this is the limited edition that includes some bonus content. This is a bonus uh, foiled scenario cards and deep cards and a five to six player expansion is included as well. So that's very cool. So that's Oceans. Yay, keeping up with the uh, special order theming of this shipment. This copy of Scythe is special ordered. These two, however, are not. So we will have Scythe on our shelves. It's been a while since we've had Scythe on our shelves. Very excited about that. This is a two to five, no, one to five player. I forgot this is a solo mode. One to five player game by Stonemeyer Games, designed by Jamie Stegmeyer. It's a fantastic game. This is a, well, it's an area control game, but that's selling it short to call it an area control game. There's all kinds of things going on here. And it's also asymmetric, meaning that each player has a unique um, ability. And uh, yeah, I also love the miniatures and um, components in this game. The art is amazing. The game itself is great. While 
it can maybe take a little while to learn it first. Once you learn it, it's one of those games like, oh, that's actually not too bad. It's like, I got it. I've internalized it. I can, I can do this now. It's all pretty straightforward. It's, it's a very consistent design. So uh, it's not like a whole bunch of completely unrelated rules that you just have to memorize every single one. It's very consistent and easy to learn and play. So quite like that from such a, a big game. So that's Scythe. Oh yeah. So this is one of the boxes that was missing from our last shipment. The last um, unboxing we did had uh, only eight of the 10 boxes we were expecting and the rest have um, finally arrived, thankfully. So two more copies of Parks in stock and then we have one more copy of welcome to and we had a bunch in our last shipment and here's the last one that was uh, missing and then we have here spy fest this is a team version of spyfall which um, spyfall is a one versus many um, hidden role game you have one person that's a spy and they're trying to not get found out by everybody at the table but this is a team-based game. It's for four to 10 players and it takes about 30 minutes to play. And I would think, even though it says four to 10, I would think it'd probably be best at like six plus, honestly. Anyway, I really like Spyfall. I haven't played Spyfall 2, but I, I do really like um, uh, Spyfall. So I wanted to bring this in. It might be a good one for the cafe later on once, the, uh, once we can have bigger, bigger groups of people. Okay. Very excited about this. We have the two new exit games here, Cemetery of the Night and The Enchanted Forest, uh, brand new. And uh, we have uh, three copies of each, although these ones are special ordered. The other two will be available. So we have some more copies of Quirkle because we're running low. And here's a new thing. Quirkle bonus pack, an add-on for Quirkle. So this does not have tiles, but it has um, wooden racks and let's see, what's we'll see, do, 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 score pad and a pencil, Quirkle pencil. So there you go. If you have uh, Quirkle, maybe this is a nice stocking stuffer for somebody who you know who loves Quirkle. We have a couple of these in the box. There you go. Rumma Cub. These are all special ordered. All five copies of this are special ordered for a customer. So I do believe we have it in stock still, but uh, there you go. All of these are special ordered. So like I said, this is special order day today. Next up, we have a restock of King Domino, which was the Spiel de Jahr in 2017. It's a very fun, light and fast tile selection and placement game. So. In this game, you start with the castle in the middle, a single tile, and you're gonna be getting these tiles that have like two squares on each, and you're gonna be placing them around your castle. You're trying to collect points by having contiguous areas of the same color where you have crowns on them. The cr you, your score for each different contiguous area is gonna be the number of crowns multiplied by the number of squares. So you're trying to uh, cleverly uh, draft those um, tiles into your kingdom, into those uh, those dominoes into your kingdom, and uh, get the most points at the end of the game. Very fun, uh, easy to learn game, easy to play game, and um, for two to four players. And it really does take just 15 minutes to play, and it was a worthy winner of the Spiel DR in 2017, in my opinion. And then, this is a game... I have not played, but Cheryl has played it and she really liked it. She only got to play it once. Uh, the person who brought it over to our house years ago traded it away for something else. So I haven't played it uh, since or ever, but uh, she has. Uh, this is New York 1901 by Blue Orange Games. It says, relive the dawn of modern Manhattan during the historic years that made New York City what it is today. Compete to build skyscrapers on some of lower Manhattan's most iconic streets. I do like the board and the art and the components is very nice. You can see that Vincent Dutre is the artist in this game. It is a very signature style. It was a Golden Geek Award nominee for 2015, so a very good game. And this is the first time we've had it in stock here. Okay. 
And there you go. We have eight copies of the European expansion for Wingspan in here. We've already talked about that. Well, not really. We just talked about uh, restocking it. I could tell you a little bit about it because I didn't. Just realized. Take for granted that you know what it is because we've restocked this so many times. It's such a popular thing. This is the expansion for Wingspan, which is right here on our shelves. Wingspan is one of the most, po if probably actually the most popular game over the last couple of years. Um, Elizabeth Hargrave designed game for one to five players and it's fantastic. And then this expansion down here adds European bird cards and it adds some additional uh, bonus cards and uh, an extra type of uh, bird card which have end of round bonuses and some uh, nice purple eggs. The purple eggs don't do anything yet and as far as I know mechanically but they're just different there are no purple eggs in this box but there are in the in the in that so there you go we have lots of the European expansion in stock now and we still have wingspan stock as well at a very very low price for the Okanagan region so uh, something we're very proud of having very very good prices so that's it for this video almost uh, well I don't know like over half of what we unboxed was special ordered, which is very cool. So thank you to everybody who's been uh, supporting us and pre-ordering games from us. And thanks again for your uh, support overall. Uh, I know that it's been tough uh, lately for you guys to come down and play, what with the COVID restrictions uh, as they are. But just again, a reminder that we do, do take out of our food and uh, you are allowed to come in with your family members uh, or I should say members of your household, whether they're family members or not, and enjoy um, the food and drinks and uh, game library here. It has not been very busy lately. Uh, that should not be a surprise to you, although maybe maybe it would be, I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, it's nice to see that people are actually following the rules now, and I think that means that things are gonna get better in the short term, which I'm excited about. And uh, yeah, so, please do uh, come on down if you are healthy and uh, yeah, you're following the rules. We uh, can do our best to make sure you have a good time here. We have um, done everything uh, above and beyond uh, COVID safety protocol expectations in British Columbia to make sure this place is safe for you. Um, but, uh, you know, we're not encouraging you to uh, do anything that is um, unsafe or, or uh, you know, against the uh, regulations right now. Uh, but if you are able to come enjoy the cafe, then we'd love to have you here. And I know the staff would as well. So again, thanks for watching. Please do the thumbs up and the subscribing and the sharing and all that fun stuff with the video. All of that really helps as well as sharing our posts on Facebook, please. And, and retweeting our tweets uh, really does mean a lot, really helps. And um, down the road, once things are better, uh, that will uh, pay dividends and, um, you know, a strong board game cafe in Penticton uh, will be good for everyone uh, who is interested in this great hobby of playing board games. So until next time, thanks again. Have a great day. Stay safe.